there are some four secrets of success for every student that no one has ever told you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this highly kept secret of success for every student. Secret number one, travel home less often. So when I was in school, I used to travel home a lot. I travel home sometimes several times a month, even though I schooled in us, the same state as our residents. So while at home, I'd watch movies, you know, visit relatives, just have fun around at the expense of my schoolwork. And sometimes I just have come from back from home and I will learn that that very morning there's going to be a test. Meanwhile, I, I wouldn't have read anything while at home. So I found out that this really impacted my grades and my CGP. So I do not want that to happen to you. And the thing really is that you would have enough time to stay at home, you know, with your loved ones when you graduate. You have all the time in the world to spend with the people that you really want to be with. And school is just four years or five years, depending on your course. And so you are going to have enough time when, when you graduate. So try to stay in school for a longer stretch, if possible. If finances is not the problem, please stay in school for a longer stretch, probably throughout a semester, if possible, or even more. And during the weekends, I realized that a lot of students travel home, and you, in the hostels, there are just a few people in the hostels and everywhere. So uh, this is a time for you to stay so that you can um, be able to concentrate concentrate more on your studies since there will be less distractions so if you want to really be successful as a student i'll advise that you stay in school more secret number two do not date anyone now i know a lot of you may not want to agree with me on this one but if you are not emotionally agile trust me you don't want to date while in school and generally, I believe in dating with a view to marriage. So I'll advise that you make good friends while in school, build good relationship with people of the opposite sex and all, all, all everyone, but not necessarily going into a serious committed relationship as a student. Now, dating can take a serious toll on you. It can cause serious distraction to you, especially if you cannot control your emotions as a student. And I seriously don't think you can. So, for example, your girlfriend breaks up with you a few days to your exams. And how would you handle it? Would it affect your ability to concentrate on your exams? Or let's say you, you found out that your so-called boyfriend is cheating on you and you can hardly focus in class with, 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 with the matter unresolved. So I believe that this um, dating causes a lot of distraction for students. In fact, some people are going to lose focus and they'll not be able to get back on track. So uh, if you meet someone that you really feel that you love that you love or you like, probably you feel this is the Mr. Right or Miss Right in school, let, let them know how you really feel, feel about them. Let them know that you really care about them and like them. But there cannot, think, uh, there cannot really be anything serious until after school. And if they feel the same way about you, they'll wait. You'll have all the time in the world to date after school. So please, if you want to be successful uh, as a student, you need to postpone dating i know this is going to be hard for a lot of you but trust me it's going to work if anyone likes you or you like any, or you like anyone in school you can tell them how you feel so that in future probably there could be something secret number three use social media for a purpose so we all know that there are so many social media platforms these days from Twitter to Snapchat to Instagram to WhatsApp and even YouTube, the one that you're presently on right now. And all these apps and all these things, you know, could be really overwhelming. So if you want to truly be successful as a student, you need to be intentional with how you use social media. You need to be intentional about your use of this um, social media platforms so you need to have a purpose for being on any platform whatsoever that you choose to be on and let every minute that you spend on this social media account or, or social media platform really count so for example if you want to become a sports caster someone who broadcasts sports news you need to uh, and you probably are on twitter instead of spending time checking latest updates and trending gist and all the bantans that could be very overwhelming on twitter why not use the platform to engage on you know engage sports personalities meaningfully? Look for posts for of, of sports influencers and engage meaningfully with with their posts. Add your own unique and intelligent contributions and insight to the conversation and let them know um more about you. And if you do this for long enough and consistently, you will be building your profile as a sports enthusiast and you know, should there be any opportunity for people with passion um in that aspect 
you will definitely come to the minds of these influencers and sports personality and that is how you find your way to your desired jobs using this platform and not just being on the platform and looking and you know consuming everything and not even using it for any useful purpose so you may also be on ig for instance you are on instagram and you have a small business and you're trying to push alongside your uh, your 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 school work and you want to grow and build your personal brand and become a an influencer using this instagram um app so you want to be strategic also you want to also be very intentional with the, the platform once you open an I, ig account there are thousands of feeds waiting for you and you can only watch as many stories as possible so have a specific goal each time you open your 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 instagram app for example make each and every minute you spend uh, uh, on this platform count um take note of the kind of people you want to follow have in mind the kind of people you want to, to you want to follow the people you want to see their feed probably for inspiration for you to learn from them and you know to just get information and know how to build your personal brand don't just be on this time consuming app for nothing and not gaining anything you need to be very intentional and strategic about your use of this social media platform if you truly want to be successful as a student secret number four review new information daily now if you want to be successful in school you need to review any new information you've learned on the same day so this daily review won't take a long time to complete but it's a vital step that ensures that you stay on top of the material and applying this tip will also help you to move the information to your long-term memory more quickly so do not become an 11th minute person don't wait till examination day before you start to read or just when their examin examinations are around the corner go through your material as soon as you get them and a lot of students are in this habit they rush their reading just because examination are a few days to come but if you truly want to be successful in your studies you need to cultivate the habit of reviewing new information as they come so guys remember jim ron once said if you do not like how things are change them so you can change your outcomes as a student and do better with your um, um school work by doing these four things so there you have it guys those are the four habits of success for every student that you need to start practicing now if you're a student and already um practicing any of these four habits let me know in the comment section how you're doing it and the results you're seeing and i'll see you again in the next video